Hello and thanks for tuning in to another Braille Note Touch Snapshot video. My name is Greg Stilson. I'm HumanWare's product manager of Blindness Products. This 2.0 snapshot video is going to highlight a brand new feature found in the most recently released version 2.0 for the Braille Note Touch called KeyMath. And you should have received a notification saying that version 2.0 is ready for download. Um, so if you are connected to the internet, um, you would have received a system update notification. If you didn't, you can just simply go to all applications, all applications. by pressing A on the main menu, main menu all going to Braille terminal. Uh, the easiest way is to go, I always press M. Maps and then press the previous thumb key keyword. until you find key, key, updater. key updater and you activate that key updater system update system up to date it says that my system is up to date because i'm already running the most recent version but uh, in your case uh, it would say an update is available online so that's just a quick way to show how to update your braille note touch as i said it would show up normally Contacts. in your Keywords. notifications just if you click on the notification with your router key um, it'll automatically start the installation of version 2.0 one of the v features, the key features of 2.0, is a new app called KeyMath. And KeyMath is actually a, an equation editor that's used to do real-time math braille to print translation. And what that means is that as you're writing in Nemeth or UEB uh, math, it will in real-time uh, convert that to perfect looking print math which is really really cool and especially brings major independence to the students in the classroom so that they can actually write their math assignment on the on the braille note and have it printed out immediately for the classroom teacher so that's what we're going to show today is a sample of what it would be like in a classroom to do the math equations so first thing we're going to do is set our braille code so i'm going to go to all applications again all applications by default it's in nemeth so if you are a nemeth u user you don't have to do any of this and i'm going to press k keep and go next thumb key or continue to press k until i find key math there it is key math i'm going to activate that with a router key and I'm going to go down to the key math settings. Create. It says create, open, open settings, or settings. I'm going to activate settings. Preferred braille code. And I'm going preferred to navigate to Nemeth. preferred preferred braille code. And it says Nemeth right now. That's fine. If preferred I activate braille that, code. you see you Nemeth. have Nemeth, Nemeth. UEB, Run or French. In this case, I'm going to choose Nemeth preferred and activate code. that. And now code. I'm Nemeth. all set with my Nemeth braille Nemeth. code. Contents. I went back to Nemeth. main menu with the home button on the circular, circular button on the front of the device. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the word processor, just as if I was going to take my notes in my literature class or history class or whatever else. So I'm going to go to word processor by pressing W. Word processor, keyword. And press enter. Keyword menu, create. And I'm just typing on the glass of the Braille Note Touch, but you obviously could be using the physical keyboard case that comes with the Braille Note Touch as well. I'm going to create a document by just pressing C. Create. And press enter. Loading, please wait three period. It Edit says, loading, please wait three period. Oh, I just realized I have the speech pretty fast, so I'm going to slow that down by pressing enter and dot three. So now I am in the blank document. I'm just going to write my name. So Greg. Greg. Stilson. Stilson. And I'm going to press new line. I'm going to write algebra. E deleted. If I can type. E deleted. Algebra. Algebra. Three, three. End of line. document. And then we're going to write chapter, chapter four, four, exam one. Exam one. Now I'm just writing End that in literary braille. No problem there. I can write it in uh, either UEB or my uh, any other braille code that I prefer there. Um, and at this point now I made a couple new lines and I am ready now to start my math assignment. Now remember that the key math is an equation editor, which means that it's not meant to be typing your entire math assignment, um, you know, 50 questions at a time. It's meant to do one, two, five, something like that, math lines at a time. And then what, you'll, what we'll, I'll show you is how to transfer that into keyword. So what we're going to do now is we want to insert math. And I can do that by either going to the context menu by pressing the square button on the front of the Braille note. Context menu. And I want to go to editing functions. Editing functions. By just pressing the next thumb key and activate editing that. Editing functions. And we'll go down to. Find. Find previous. Find next. Insert math. Backspace insert math. And, M. and it says backspace and M. And that's how you insert the math. As I could in instantaneously press backspace with M. So I'm going to activate that to now insert my math equation. Name it. 
and you heard it say Nemeth. Wait three it says loading. Please wait. Line. And now we are in our key math math editor, and I am ready to start typing my. I'm going to just do three questions quickly. So I'm going to type in Nemeth Braille. I'm going to type number sign one, punctuation indicator, low D for period, and I'll type in open fraction indicator one over two close fraction x plus 3y space equals 27. So there's our first equation. Now it may not show up right away because as soon as I press enter, boom, now you should visually see that in print on the screen. And if I want to go back up, I can press space with dot 4 to go to the previous line. 1. Open frac 1 over 2 close frac x plus 3y equals 27. And at that stage, we can hear exactly what we wrote. Now, keep in mind that while you're writing your equation, you're writing in raw Braille dots. And so the text-to-speech doesn't read it until you've actually completed the line. Now, I can read the current line by pressing space with C as well. So that's the first one. So we wrote that from memory. We knew how to write the fraction indicator. Now we'll do number sign 2, punctuation indicator. And now let's do... 27 is greater than. Now let's say that I forgot how to write the greater than symbol. Now we have a, a tool in here that is uh, called the symbol selector that allows you to insert symbols. Now I can activate, activate that using the context menu again by pressing space with M or the square button. Context menu. And I'm going to find press next, next find until I find. And export preview. Back. Save a copy. Insert symbol. Insert Backspace symbol. With dots three. Five. Backspace with dots three five or the IN symbol. So I'm going to do that right now by activating that. Symbols is. Here's Nemeth our symbol. Nemeth symbol selector, and I want to do something that is comparison symbols. So I'll press C. Comparison symbols. And I'm going to activate that. Equals. And we want to greater go or less to or equal directly over directly under greater than greater than. And it not only says greater than, but it shows me in Braille the symbol on how to create that or how to write that. So I'm going to activate that now. Line. And now we see that 27 is greater than number five, 15. And now I'll read that line back with space with C or press enter and then go back up. 2. 27 greater than 15. So now we wrote Bottom. 27 is greater than 15. We can also do shapes. So I'll do number thing, 3. And I want to do a triangle, but I forgot how to do a triangle. So I'll press backspace and IN or backspace dots three five. Symbols based. And I want to Name do shape symbols. symbols. Tip, so I'm going to press S again. Shape symbols. There's shape symbols. Shape Activate indicator. Activate that. And we want to find triangle, so I'll press T. Triangle. Boom. Right there, I see that it the, looks like a dollar sign T or an EDT uh, kind of shape. So I'm going to press that. Blind. So we wrote the dollar sign T or the symbol for a triangle, and now I'll do open parentheses with the sides of four, comma, space seven, comma, space nine, close parentheses. Dots three. And let's four, hear that five, back. Three. Triangle four, seven, nine. And I'll press enter, and you should see that also populated in the visual preview. So now we've written our math equations. That's great. But now we need to put those actually in our math assignment. So to do that, we need to export. You may have saw that in the, um, you may have already seen that in the uh, context menu. But it's backspace and E is the shortcut. So to export this to the clipboard, so we're going to take this and put this on our clipboard by pressing backspace with E. Export it to clipboard. Preferred Braille code. Preferred and code. I need to actually manually switch back to keyword because I was previously in key math. So we'll do a recent applications by pressing recent apps. space and lower F. And Clear I'll all go button. back to keyword. Key updater. Keyword menu. And I'll Edit press box. enter there. End of document. So there's keyword. Now we're going to press backspace and V to paste it. Normally, if, you've, if you hadn't gone into key math before, it would have just switched right back to keyword since I had messed with the Braille codes in the past. Um, it switched me into that Braille code thing. So I'm going to press backspace and V now. Pasting in progress. Please and it's wait now three pasting periods. the equation. Pasted. Now, what and I well, see and what you document. should see on the Braille or on the screen is actual math Braille dots. And that's because what we're using is an actual image of 
the math equation, which is fantastic because that image can then be used in the Microsoft Word document. But what I see is on my Braille display as a student, I care about actually seeing the math. Now if you're curious, for a teacher you can visually preview this by pressing enter with V to show a sighted teacher visually, enter with V right now. Generating preview. Please wait three period. Now you will see the actual visual preview of the math and you on the screen are seeing the actual math uh, lines that we wrote. So I'm going to press exit space with E and get back Edit to my box. document. Image start. Now let's say that we we made a mistake and we said oh man we uh, we need to go back and fix it should be uh, five seven and nine rather than four seven and nine for the, the sides of the triangle. So what you do is you put your cursor inside that math image that we just pasted or that math expression. So I'm going to put my cursor anywhere in there and my cursor is now on there's a tag or a, a symbol that shows the dollar sign IME and dollar sign IMS that shows that the the, the, that's surrounding the math image. So anything in between those two symbols is all the math content that I pasted. So now what I can do is press backspace with M again that I put my cursor in there. Name it. Loading. Please and you see period. that we're back in the Nine. equation editor, back in key math, and my equations are already filled in. So now I can go back here, I can go and change the uh, 4 to a 5 by putting my cursor after it and just pressing Dots backspace two, five, and I'm going to press six deleted. 5 and now we'll go Bottom. to make a new line and now you should see 3 triangle 5 7 9 we've now updated triangle 5 7 9 I'm going to press backspace and E to export this all if I can type backspace export and E export it to clipboard preferred braille code I'm going to switch back to uh, to keyword by Three going to my apps. recent applications, key, pressing key K, locator. keyword menu, and Edit pressing box. enter. Image start. Now what we're going to do is delete that previous image or equation that we wrote just by backspacing, End of and it's all gone. And now we're going to repaste it. So I'm going to go bot to bottom. the bottom of the document, backspace and V to paste. End of document, pasted. And at that stage, we now have the equation all pasted and now we see 5, 7, and 9 in Braille and if I visually preview that, I'm going to press enter Edit, V, drive. you should see Page now one of the good math already written right there in perfect looking print. So I'm going to exit space with E. Edit box. Image start. So we're going to save this document now. I'm going to press space with S to save this file. Enter file and name edit box. And we'll New call this bottom. math M. math video video okay. space deleted and I by default it's saving it in my documents folder which is fine so I press enter edit box image it's now start. saved and I can exit keyword, keyword by pressing menu. space with E so now I've saved that file I'm ready to actually do something with that file now what I could do is print it so I'm gonna press P print and what I always tell people is if you have a printer make sure you install the printer application from the Google Play Store because every printer has a different application. In my case I have an Epson printer that I installed the Epson ePrint application. If you have an HP printer you typically want the HP printer plugin um, or the HP iPrint app. One of the two will usually work and uh, in most cases uh, you can print wirelessly to a printer if it's connected to the network. The only one that will actually let you print when you connect to a printer is the HP Print Service plugin. And that actually allows you to plug in via USB to most HP printers, which is fantastic. So if you do have an HP printer that's probably within about nine to eight or nine years old, you should be able to plug that directly into your Braille Note Touch and print. You do need to activate that in the settings panel of the Braille Note Touch under print. So what we're going to do now is print it by pressing enter. Key files. And I want to math go to math video, math video and activate that. Loading. Please wait three period. It's now Page opened one up a PDF view, the same PDF view that you just saw of the the, uh, the perfect looking print math and I'm going to activate my context menu by pressing the square button or I could choose the more options item on the screen 
Send file. We see send file. Open we can with. email that, which is fantastic. We can email the PDF. I'm going to press next again. Download. Download. Print. Next again. And there's print. If I activate print. Loading document. Drive. It's Send now dialogue. asking me print dialogue. I'm going to press next. XP 330 and my network. Cloud my print. network. XP uh, Epson printer is already selected, so I'm just going to press P. Print button. Print button and activate that. Drive. And if my printer is turned on, we should technically hear it start to print. Now, whether my printer is actually turned on, I don't know. But uh, at this stage, typically what it would... And there it is, actually. You are... I don't know if you're hearing it print or not. But I'm actually getting some movement out of my printer. And we are hearing it actually print. And it just spit it out. And I am completely connected wirelessly to my printer. I didn't have to do anything on the printer side. It just instantly printed. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, Braille Note Touch version 2.0 snapshot video about key math um, and the typical ways that it can be used in the classroom. It's an extremely powerful app. We are very excited to see how students in the classroom use this with their teachers. So stay tuned for future Braille Note Touch snapshot videos, and we'll talk to you soon.